I just mentioned the the voting rights act, the John Lewis Voting Rights Act, that Democrats hope to pass. They've already um, put it, um, you know, it, it's it's sitting there ready for them. It would it would expand voting rights. It would protect voting rights. It would stop Republicans from uh, 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 um, closing down polling centers and restricting voting rights. Um, <laughs> data the data service thank you data um but so i think it's imperative if 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 the democrats should repeal or abolish the filibuster for any reason it should be to pass this voting rights bill why because after this last election after losing florida after losing arizona um republican controlled legislatures are uh, kicking into high gear all around the country. Look at this story. State GOP lawmakers propose flurry of voting restrictions to placate Trump uh, supporters, spurring fears of a backlash. GOP state lawmakers across the country have proposed a flurry. Whoa, that was too much, wasn't it? Um, a flurry of voting restrictions that they say are needed to restore confidence in U.S. elections. That's a bad faith argument. Um, there, there was nothing wrong with this last election. The minuscule amount of voter fraud, the most of it that was found were Trump supporters trying to vote for Trump twice. Um, an effort intended to placate supporters of former President Donald Trump who believes his false claims of the 2020 out, uh, that the 2020 outcome was rigged. But the effort is dividing Republicans, some of whom are warning that it will tar the GOP as the party of voter suppression. A little late for that, guys. And give Democrats ammunition to mobilize their supporter, supporters ahead of the 2022 midterms. Yeah, the Republicans don't want you to vote, guys. And if it's not obvious, I, I, uh, there's, a, there's a thread I'm going to get to in a second. The proposals include measures that would curtail eligibility to vote by mail and prohibit the use of ballot drop boxes. One bill in Georgia would block early voting on Sundays, which critics quickly labeled a Franklin attempt to thwart souls to the polls, the Democratic turnout effort that targets black churchgoers on the final Sunday before election. Can you believe it? This is the party of Christianity, right? And they want to ban early voting on Sundays. Wow. Well, because they know who's voting on Sundays, right? Uh, states where such legislation is under consideration also include Arizona, Florida, Texas, Pennsylvania, Michigan, and Wisconsin. I mean, there's already tons of um, influence that the Republicans have had over districting of state legislatures. You have states where Republicans like Pennsylvania and others where Republicans will win like less than 50% of the vote. And they will retain 60% of the uh, legislature, the state legislature. So they will be, you know, I mean, in some cases, Democrats will win 60% of the vote in the whole state. But they are, uh, you know, they, they don't have a majority in the state legislature because it's so gerrymandered. Um, there was, I, I have to bring this guy up, um, Republican gerrymandering hard drive dead daughter i put in these keywords because um there was a republican strategist who a redistricting strategist who he was estranged from his daughter listen to this deceased gop strategist daughter makes files public that republicans wanted sealed huh what did those files say Hoffeller, that's his name. More than a year after his death, a cache of computer files saved on the hard drives of Thomas Hoffeller, a prominent Republican redistricting strategist, is becoming public. Um, they have been cited as, as evidence of gerrymandering that got political maps thrown out in North Carolina, and they have raised questions about Hoffeller's role in the Trump administration's failed push for a census citizenship question. Um. Let's see. This is his, uh, this is his daughter. These are matters that concern the people and their franchise and their access to resources. This is therefore the property of the people. Hoffeller told NPR, "I won't be satisfied that we the people have found everything until we get uh, people have had a look at it in its entirety." Um, let's see. I mean, b basically, this guy Thomas Hoffeller, um, this guy here, he, you know, he knows exactly what to do to swing districts uh, to Republicans, how to draw up districts, what to do, you know, he, he to give Republicans 
more control than they really deserve in the electorate. It's really astounding. Um, the levels of sophistication and uh, you know organization that Republicans will uh, go to, to to you know to subvert people's uh, the, the will of the voters. Um, let's see, have some uh, have some comments here. Gerrymandering, yep, Jay. Um, J. Andrew World. Somehow Pete Buttigieg actually had this in his immigration plan. I was shocked he didn't want smart courts. Oh, we're talking about immigration again. Data. Mexicans are hardworking people. Um, specifically, Hoffeller, um, some of w what was in his cache of uh, hard drives was that if you could, um, if you could, it was, some, it was something like in Texas, especially uh, in other states, if you could disenfranchise uh, non-white Hispanics, right? Mexicans, uh, uh, you know, people south of the border, you know, if you could disenfranchise them, then it, w it was like plus several points for Republicans every time. Um, so literally disenfranchising people of color, um, which, I mean, his plans were enacted in several states. And this is why Trump on the census wanted to add a citizenship question to ask people if they were citizens or not, which was believed that it would scare away enough um, immigrants and people of color that they would just not fill out the census. Um, Jay Coleman, right-wingers are the minority. They win the institutional battles to maintain viability. Absolutely. They, they, have to, they have to fight this fight to keep control because they are the minority. Keep in mind, we have something like 22 states have 44 or I, I can't remember how many it might be like 40 of the senators in the United States Senate are represented by the same population in California alone so that's like what is it like 20 states or maybe might be more have the same population as California and they each get two senators and look at it we, we can't ever pass anything through the Senate right um J. Andrew World, Smurfs and Orans from Star Trek or Blue Man Group. These are the only blue lives that matter to me. Okay. J. Andrew World is good for the jokes. Um, but on this topic, this is Ari Berman. Um, I believe he reports for, is it Mother Jones? Yes. Ari Berman's a fantastic reporter. Read his stuff. Um, listen to this. Georgia Republicans just introduced a bill to ban early voting on Sundays prior to election when black churches do souls to the polls to get out the vote drives. Uh, 48 page voter suppression bill was released by the Georgia House Republicans uh, today before a 3 p.m. hearing. Democracy dying in the dark. Jesus. Oh, God, I got to retweet that. That's that's terrible. Um, so he's, he's got a lot here. Um, new voter suppression law introduced uh, by GOP lawmaker who represented white election board members in majority black town of Sparta, Georgia, that tried to purge 20% of black voters from rolls and sent police to serve them summons. That was a whole other thing. Uh, re read this story too. Uh, astounding. Like th the levels that they will go to. Um, to disenfranchise people of color. Look at this. Average waiting times in Georgia primary in white areas, six minutes. Non-white areas, 51 minutes. They make it harder for people of color to vote. And specifically on this charge of election fraud or, or of widespread election fraud, uh, listen to this. Representative Calvin Smear, dean of the House, says, when you cut back on early voting, it disproportionately hurts voters of color who use early voting in large numbers. He estimates Georgia GOP bill could cut up to 108 early voting hours. Wow. Now listen to what this Republican has to say. He admitted he admits that the stuff about election fraud is all lies. He admits it. Um, so they they know what they know the game they're playing here. Listen. And I'm not getting into the part about the, you know, widespread voter fraud. You're correct. It wasn't found. It's just a, in a lot of people's mind that there was. It was never found. It's just in a lot of people's minds that there was. Um, well, this is interesting. Last year, Brad Raffensperger bragged that Georgia had, quote, the gold standard trifecta of automatic voter registration, early voting, and no excuse absentee voting. 
Georgia Republicans have now introduced bills to repeal or restrict all three of those. Guys, th this is this is huge. Georgia flipped blue. That that was astounding to people in the political know that a f state formerly in the Confederacy would flip blue and deliver uh, a a black senator, Democratic senator, to the Senate and and a Jewish man, uh, John Ossoff, to the Senate. People were astounded by this as a development. And here we see the Georgia State Republicans doing anything and everything. They're going to claw their way any which way they can. This is why you got to know. Uh, Valor says here, Republicans believe that they are shrinking, uh, realize that they are a shrinking minority. I feel like that's why they kept getting louder and more extreme. Donald Trump is the last, I don't want to say the last, but it's it's a severely uh, you know, death-rattling rasp of our tr truly white supremacist history. The coup on January 6th is just an example of that. Um, there, oh gosh, there, there, there was a similar white supremacist attack uh, on, on, a, um, on a city that had black leadership elected in the 1880s or the 1890s. And so th this, Donald Trump woke, woke up this old sleeping beast in American politics. Um, and I mean, it, it, sorry, the Republicans had it alive and well, uh, were tending to it and stoking the fire, but Donald Trump really just poured gasoline on the fire. So now the, the masks are off. They're just clearly, this is what they're trying to do. Democrats have to pass this bill. If we want actual democracy in this country, if we want any, you know, if it, I mean, look at the crises, the crises, internesting, just uh, stacked on top of each other that we're dealing with. Their deregulation created the housing bubble crisis, the deregulation of banks, the defunding and the deregulation of our uh, health departments, the CDC and HHS, let coronavirus run wild, enter the country and run wild. The um, so much uh, uh, the climate change. California is on fire every year. People burning alive in their homes. People freezing to death in Texas. In Texas, Texas is frozen over, right? Um, climate change is out of control. It's only going to be more and more expensive every year to battle it. The hurricanes, the flooding, the fires, the freezes. And don't think you're ever like we're never going to be able to do anything about this if we are stuck in, under this tyranny of the minority that is the Republican Party. They are just they they have just jammed their foot into the door and they're not letting anybody make they're not letting the Democratic Party make any progress. I'm here to criticize the Democratic Party all day for their half measures and their wishy-washy faux progressive nonsense. I'm here for that, okay? But when they have something good like a $15 minimum wage or the uh, the voting rights bill, all kinds of stuff like that. When they have that ready to go and, um, you know, not only do we have to deal with the Republicans who want to block every bit of that, but we have these uh, Republican light Democrats like Joe Manchin who want who want to, you know, play both sides of the fence and go, well, I don't know if I want to vote for that because we're 50 50 in the Senate. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Um. Let's see. Joe Biden is helping the Republicans by not giving us uh, the 2K checks, $2,000 checks. J Andrew World said that. Totally agree. Totally agree. Totally agree with that. It, it, and, and that half measure stuff is is going to it's gonna get us killed, literally. It's getting people killed right now. Um, Jay Coleman, climate change is real. I'm worried about heat waves in Vegas this summer. Yeah, man, prepare for that. Prepare for that. I don't know how, how you prepare for that. Uh, keep, you know, keep ice trays and, and uh, coolers and, and you might even want to get a generator. Hook it up to your air conditioner if you have to. Get a space air. I don't know what you got to do. It could get bad. You could have rolling blackouts out there, fires. I mean, Arizona's having wildfires kind of like California is now. Be safe. Be safe, Jay. You're one of my most loyal watchers. <laughs> You're one of my most consistent audience members please don't please prepare for this the long summer ahead uh valor biden was never going to be a good president 
He is so wishy-washy. He's already stepping back on those checks. 2000 to 1400. He's already said, uh, uh, but he's at least not actively destroying the country and taking as much money as he can while he does. At least that's the bar. That's where the Republican party has set the bar. So yeah, we have to be happy with a literally and figuratively dying neoliberal and neoliberalism.